to all my Geminis out there, please make sure to get my book at Amazon and BarnesandNoble.com. If you Geminis want to go ahead and pick it up, pick uh, get a reading from me, you can always go ahead and get one from me at KareemSpiritWorksAyahoo.com. Right, my email address as well as the prices, excuse me, are in the description box below. So, for my Geminis, you have the Six of Cups. Okay, Three of Wands. Eight of Wands, the Moon. This is very interesting already. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Four of Swords, the Hierophant, the Ace of Wands, and last but not least, we have the Hangman. So for my Geminis, you have the Six of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Eight of Wands. Someone try someone is coming back to put to what I'm seeing here to potentially apologize for them breaking it off with you or things not necessarily going right with you because maybe this person cheated on you, you know what I mean, went behind your back with somebody else and uh, obviously you found out and what, right, you have the eight of wands, what a good relationship or potentially wor really working relationship that, that you thought you were in was now destroyed. And then the moon now, right? Because it's something big, right? You have the six of cups, the moon. It was something big. They potentially put their hands on you, you know? Which is not a good idea, by the way. But, um, uh, so the moon represents it being big. They really violated, you know what I mean? Your sense of self. They really disrespected it. And again, which is not a good idea on their part uh and the thing is is that so you're you're thinking it over you're you're reflecting on letting it go right as well as thinking about what you're going to reflecting on what type of steps you're going to do with this person so the three of pentacles now is about you you forgiving them right some of you gemini's may call these people up Tell them that you forgive them. Some of you Geminis may not uh, call them up, but you'll forgive them in your heart, right? And move on. The Eight of Cups, look at this infinity sign, right? So the Eight of Cups, um, understanding that your life does uh, go on and that you're not tripping out about it at all, right? You know, your life does go on. You're not tripping out about it. Look at how, look at how, anyway, Sorry about that. Uh, it's just a complete change when I get on camera, but sorry about that, right? When I actually, but anyway. Um, so, uh, wow. So the thing is, is that the, the Eight of Cups, like I said, represents that. Completely looking at the relationship, thinking about if you, you, if you Geminis can actually stomach getting back together with these people right for another try or if it's if, if you just have to forgive them and keep it pushing the four swords okay um this this relationship for you marked something important as well as sacred so a lot of you gemini's wasn't necessarily into the whole um uh cheating on this person per se a lot of you gemini's really very, really wanted to be in a monogamous relationship with this person. And the Hierophant, you never cheated on this person, right? You wanted to really interact with and treat this person well. But obviously, you Geminis know may. You Geminis know what, what may have happened. They disrespected you in that way. And a lot of you Geminis obviously aren't taking it. That's why it is that you stopped hanging out with them in the first place. The Ace of Wands and the Hangman is you are very much so suspicious of if they are going to do it all over again, if you were to begin to hang out with them. Um, we're going to go ahead and clarify that. Because what I'm seeing here is that things would be intense right? Things would be more serious if you were to get back together with them or if you were to start hanging out with them. Now, serious how, right? 
that's that's the question because it could be a type of a serious where you and it could be a type of a serious where you and and them actually getting close closely uh niche together right more tightly or it can be intense where they they really jump off the porch and keep heading north so <laughs> let's clarify the uh the hangman maybe even some of them are saying that they could potentially wait on you uh forgiving them right to just hang out with them and stuff like this Let's see, you have the Nine of Cups, Five of Swords, the Death card. That's interesting. Now I know what it is. They don't, they don't want you to, they don't want you to tell them to leave. They don't want you to do that. They want you to rethink it over. Um, but a lot of you Geminis are ready to leave, you know, you have the death card, which represents this relationship will never be the same. And for some of you Geminis, you you Geminis know that. Let's clarify the uh, the Ace of Wands. What is this person thinking? Where is this person getting at? What are they on? What are they on? Let's see what's going on for my Geminis. To, you know, for, from this person's point of view. The Ten of Wands, the Three of Swords, wow. The Six of Wands. This person uh, was heartbroken when you left. And they see that you was heartbroken because of the goofy stuff that they did. But now they're trying to get you back because they see your value. Now... Again, it just depends on, you know, what you Geminis want to do. Uh, are you going to give them another chance? Or do you Geminis think that this is just another ruse to get, to get you to think of them as being changed people? It's up to you. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share the video. Uh, let's try to get it to 2,000 subscribers, right? Uh, yeah. Peace.